The District of Columbia passed an airtight law against handguns. Nobody but policemen and those already having gun permits may legally even own a handgun. In the nation's capital, a victory for supporters of gun rights, with the U.S. Supreme Court striking down a ban on handguns in the District of Columbia. So three men sued the city over being denied a concealed carry permit. This happened last year, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's still an ongoing thing. Well, three men who were denied concealed carry permits are suing the D.C. government, arguing that the city discriminated against them while considering their applications to carry a concealed weapon in public. The reasoning that D.C. uses and relies on to deny certain concealed carry permits is discriminatory and violates the Second Amendment. D.C. have really tough gun laws. In my opinion, some of their requirements are unconstitutional. Listen to this statement directly from MPD. When determining whether a person meets the standard of eligibility, MPD assesses all available evidence that may reveal your criminal history. This decision may be based on police or court records that have been sealed from the public arrest records that may not have resulted in charges or convictions, and even records from incidents that may not have resulted in an arrest. So even if you were never charged, they still have the right to deny you. It doesn't really make sense. The firearms talk is still a touchy subject in the black community, and that's among certain people, man, because of the violence associated with guns. It's a Democrat city, but today in 2024, we welcome many more people into the gun culture, man. So many folks, especially black women, are getting their curry permit. And it's good that more people going about it the right way. So, so long as we all practice safe habits and educate ourselves on how to operate these guns, we gotta be careful. After doing the little man story, check it out if you haven't already, man. I will say, I understand why the city has strict gun laws. Can't believe I'm admitting this, but I do. Just imagine if someone stole your legal firearm from your glove box or from your home, and then they go use it in a murder and a robbery. It's kinda messed up even though you ain't do nothing. Technically, your property was stolen from you, but I think we all just gotta be extra careful, making sure we lock our stuff up properly. I would think twice about leaving my firearm in my car if I were you. Some guys may have government jobs and can't bring the gun to the job, so they might lock it in the car, but if your car is stolen, that's a big risk of you losing that firearm. And we all know guns are not cheap and ain't no telling what may happen with your firearm. Now, let's take a look at some stats. This is the stolen gun statistics last updated December 2023. Approximately one in three stolen firearms in the U.S. are stolen from vehicles. About 380,000 guns are stolen in the U.S. each year. Washington, D.C. was ranked highest in the number of reported stolen firearms in 2021. It's a lot more on that stat sheet, but that just goes to show that your negligence can contribute to another man's recklessness. But this is why I believe the places where crime is high, which is the inner cities in America, but that's why they make it so hard on people as far as getting the concealed curry. I get it, but context matter. They need to look into each case more. The government really don't want none of us to have guns anyway, and crime don't help the case, mass shootings don't help it, and I just saw on the Coley on the Wild channel that they even coming for YouTube. There's a lawsuit out against YouTube in regards to a mass shooting that happened in the past. Check that video out when you get a chance. They blaming YouTube for that. Pretty soon it may become illegal to make firearm content or even showcase your collection on a public platform. But I just think we need to reshape some of the gun laws. It shouldn't be just black or white. Gray areas need to be considered. It's more than just what's on paper. Context matter. So what are your thoughts on the current gun laws in D.C. and beyond? Do you care? Do you think the guys who were wrongly denied will win their lawsuit if it's still ongoing? Get in the comment, man. Share your thoughts. My name is Jay, and this is D.C. Raw and Uncut.